February is around the corner, so I've gone for this simple ribbon bows theme. Grab your notebook and come and plan with me. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here and it's time to set up my sister's bullet journal. So it's in this beautiful Archer and Olive notebook and this particular one might be out of stock now but you can still use my code TEMI10 to get 10% off anything on the Archer and Olive website. Okay, so planning time. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I like to do simpler RT themes for my sister's bullet journal. And if you're curious, my setup will be up soon, so subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. For my sister, I had the idea to do a simple and elegant bow theme, just to have ribbon bow accents and each spread to tie the whole theme together. And so I'm starting by drawing a strip at the top of the page, and for the bow, it's very simple. Starting with a small rectangle in the middle and then basically drawing a triangle on both sides and I'm also rounding the edges a little bit and adding some detail for the fold and then the tiny bits at the end of the ribbon. Next, I'm slightly erasing everything. And this is just so that the pencil doesn't show through when I'm coloring. And for this theme, I'm only using one accent color this month, which is this baby pink color. And it's from the simple cheap brush pen set that I keep screaming about. It's a fantastic Tombow dupe. I'll link it and all my supplies down in the description box as usual. But the good thing about these water-based markers is that it has a streaky look, which actually works great for this type of coloring effect we want today. So we're just following the shape of the bow and coloring in one direction, starting with a bit of an outline of the shape and then filling it in. And how beautiful does this bow look? And it was achieved with minimal effort. For the title, I'm just using a fine liner and I've gone for this simple elongated font to match the elegant feel of this theme. And I want to add a little bit more detail to the bow. So I'm going over some areas with the same brush pen, which works to make those areas slightly darker and it works amazingly to create natural shadows. Now for the quote, I've gone for believe you can in a simple natural calligraphy. I left an area to the left of the quote to draw a different type of ribbon. And that's the cover page. Let me know what you think of this cover page and this simple setup down in the comments. This is my first time leaving so much white on the page <laughs> and I just love how simple and elegant it is. Also, tell me what your theme for February is. I love reading about what you guys go for. Now for my monthly spread. So I'm doing the same six by six boxes and I've just got the simple header at the top for the days of the week. I'm making this very simple bow at the top and it's a slight variation to the one we did earlier. We have a skinnier triangle first and then a bigger triangle underneath. And we colour it in the exact same way. And yeah, it's just a very simple bow. A quick title at the top and I've got dots where each of the days of the week will go into. And here is where the mistakes start. <laughs> so obviously February has 28 days this year and I don't know why I drew five rows, but these extra dots were a massive problem. And it took me a while to try to figure out how to fix it. There are a few different fixes I could do, but in the end I decided to color over the entire section with a highlighter in the exact same color. And I'm using this section to write a Bible verse instead. So I got this verse directly from my sister. So it's more personal to her, but this is a great way to fix mistakes. You can use it to write some quotes or anything else you want to do. And the good thing about this notebook is the paper is very thick. So luckily I didn't really experience ghosting through the page. And now moving on to the habit tracker, I'm doing the exact same habit tracker layout that I have every month. And it's a simple layout for six habits. I've got a simple habit tracker written at the top and I'm using my trusted calendar block stamps for the months. And I'm also leaning on a notepad to help make the surface level so that these stamps can stamp well. However, <laughs> you can see that some of these stamps always want to be difficult. So I've used the pink brush pen for the header and my sister can fill those in by herself. And then I've also written in all the dates that the stamps missed. 
On the right side of the page, I've got the gratitude log. And it's the same simple layout that I do every single month. It's just space for her to be able to write one line a day of something she's grateful for. And I've got the 28 days and here goes another mistake. I've accidentally <laughs> written a 29th day and started highlighting that section. Sigh. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just finishing the spread with this simple skinny bow at the bottom. And then just drawing the rest of the ribbon across the bottom of the page. And here comes another mistake. <laughs> and I'm just using Tipex over the top. And let's move on to the goal spread. So my sister likes to have one spread each month that she can use to record monthly goals for each of her four yearly goal categories. And I've just done a simple goals title in brush calligraphy at the top. And I'm putting each of their goals in their own rectangle with a pink drop shadow. For the other side of the page, she wants to have one black spread every month that she can use as a brain dump kind of spread. So I'm using this thin washi tape, which is the same perfect color as a band. And I've written brain dump at the bottom with a skinny bow. Now moving on to the weekly spreads. So I'm doing the square layout and it's a very simple design with the number in the pink pen and the days of the week in an elongated cursive to bring it back to the cover page a little bit. And then I'm squaring off each section in its own box and I'm writing February in simple brush lettering at the top left of the page. So I always add a note section below that just for any extra notes and then finally finishing off with a tiny bow and that is the weekly spread. Now I'm going to quickly repeat this three more times for the remaining weeklies and if you're familiar with my spreads, I like to change up the weekly designs every week. But my sister likes this layout the best and is happy to have this exact same layout every single week. So that's why I keep this weekly spread look very simple because I need to be able to quickly recreate it for every single week. So yeah, that's the simple February ribbon bows theme. And here's the final flip through. I love how simple but sophisticated it turned out. It just has a really elegant feel to it. And I really hope you like it. So if you find inspiration from this theme, feel free to recreate. Just please tag me on Instagram at temi.journals in the caption and in the photo so that I can see and share it. My February plan with me will be up very soon. So keep an eye out for that. And thank you so much for watching this one. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on my next one. Goodbye.